Hey guys, what is up? Cheeseborough one here, and today I am doing a review on the Doctor Who 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Um, I did as much as I could to save the box for you. At the end of this video, I will show you a picture I got offline um, of the box. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started with the review. Okay, so practically, if you guys watch Doctor Who, you'll know what this is. Um, this is the 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Um, it's really cool. I got this on Amazon.com. You just go to Amazon, type in Sonic Screwdriver, or go up 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Um, but yeah, first I'm going to get started with the features. Um, it's pretty cool because it comes with two little nibs. Um, that can come off. One is the UV light nib. The other one is just a regular pen. And so how that works is the UV light. This is actually UV light. Which is pretty cool. I'll show you that in the end of the video too. Um, so yeah, let's get to the Sonic Screwdriver itself. To insert the batteries, when you first get it, it comes with the batteries, but they do not come inside. But what you gotta do, you take off this little cap here. Um, just get it in focus real quick. Take off the little cap from this little piece, the sliding piece, and then you unscrew that and just pull this out. And there's little compartments put batteries in and but you gotta be careful because this little piece can fall off really easily um so yeah let's get to the sliding part um <coughs> it's pretty lifelike it can slide just like it can in the TV show and I mean it's a pretty good it feels pretty good in your hand um you can see that like it's not too small or not too big like if you hold it right here like, I was afraid when I got this, I was afraid it was going to be really small. But then I kind of got it, and I just figured out it was actually a pretty good size. So let's get to turning it on. Um, what you got to do is, it's not like in the show where he actually clicks this button and it turns automatically on. Um, you have to hold it down on the side and then click this button. Um, yeah. It's not really bright, it might show bright on this video, but it's not as bright as it usually is. But practically, so you hold on this, turn it on, and it just flips on. Now, this button does nothing unless you turn it up, which then this button does nothing, and this button turns it on. So, yes, those are those. If you can hear in the background, there's a faint, distinct between, there's two different sounds that come through. There's... I don't know if you guys can really tell, but there are actually two different sounds in here. There's kind of the, the higher case, and the little lower one. I find that pretty cool. Um, yeah. Well... Now I'm going to get over to the UV light part. Let me get a sec. Okay, so at the bottom here you can kind of just flip off the cap here. And you can see it's kind of created. Which you can then use and use as a UV pen. So let me just write, um, I don't know. There. So then you can flip this around, and it should, I'm not exactly sure where I just wrote it, oh there it is, you can see it, um, D-O-C-T-O-R, I wrote Doctor, for Doctor Who, and um, yeah, so that is the UV pin. Okay, so the other nib, you can simply just take it off place it back on um, the other nib because it comes with two pin nibs and this is the regular pin 
nib. It's practically just like a regular pen. You can use it to write like any other regular pen. And um yeah. Um yeah, here is a box I said I would show you and well guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. If you guys want to get this, it's um I probably write it an 8 out of 10. The only problem I had is you couldn't get the button on the slider and these do fall out easily when you're trying to twist these caps off. Um that is the only problem I have. You can find them over at Amazon. Probably I got this for around $30 plus tax, um, that includes tax, about $30, and yeah, I definitely, if you watch Doctor Who, you completely deserve it, and yeah, I will see all of you later.